Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. So as you can tell from the setup and from everything I have here and from the thumbnail and title, kind of gives everything away. I am going to be making some Rice crispy cakes, that's the one. Um, I thought I'd make this because we are obviously in isolation and it is nearly Easter and I thought it'd be fun, it's not an expensive recipe. I think everything cost me about under a fiver to get everything, which is perfect if you are in isolation and perfect to cook with the kids because it doesn't involve loads of heat, it's easy to make. Probably everyone that's watching this has already made Rice crispy Cakes. I don't quite know why I'm making this video. I think I'm kind of making it because I wanted them and I wanted, wanted an excuse to make them. So if you want to see me make Rice crispy Cakes or just want to see me bake or cook. It's not really baking or cooking, it's just putting stuff together. Keep on watching. <laughs> so even though it is an easy recipe, I am going to be following a recipe. I am using the BBC Good Food recipe, I will also link it down below. So all you need is, this is 100 milk chocolate, I have dark chocolate. I'm probably just going to use this, this, one's a, this is extra dark, but it does say 100 gram milk chocolate and 50 grams dark, so maybe I'll do 100 grams dark chocolate and 50 grams extra dark, because I do like dark chocolate. It then says 100 grams of butter, 4 tablespoons of golden syrup, and 100 grams of Rice crispy or Rice Pops. I've got the Rice Snaps, which are the Asda ones. No, not Asda. This literally says Tesco on the box. Tesco's. So, what we're going to start with. So, we're going to weigh out the chocolate. So, I've got my scales here and a heatproof bowl. And I'm going to put 100 grams of dark chocolate. This is the Dr. Utger. This is from my dad. He didn't use it, so I'm now going to use it for this. I'm going to use it at Christmas and I never got around to it. So we're now going to use it now. There's an easy way of doing this. At least it made no difference. Right, okay. I want it all in. So I need 100 grams of this one. I've got to make sure I do use the right, right quantity of each because there's quite a difference. Let's just smell it. Oh my god, that smells heavenly. And then we want the extra dark, which is 72% cocoa solids. So this one's going to be quite bitter, but we'll see. If it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> Doesn't look a lot darker, but it obviously is. And then we want the golden syrup and the butter. Let's put the butter in. I do like baking. I've got another Easter video planned for you guys as well that I am going to be filming in the upcoming days. And if you do want to see that, don't forget to subscribe and also like this video for the easiest video in the world. But I just thought as we're in isolation, what better thing to do than make rubbish for Easter. And I also thought it'd be fun for everyone to watch. Not that it was gonna... I always get Callum involved, but he sat upstairs on the Xbox. Look at that, just enough butter. Now I've got to open this. My nails. Spoon, four tablespoons of this. Oh, that's what I got it out. So, comment below what you guys are doing in isolation. I know it is very, very boring, but obviously, we're doing everything we can to save our NHS. And if you haven't seen my Save Our NHS video, then I will link that down below for you guys to go check out. That should be up on my channel. I say all these things, but am I actually going to do it? Yes. <laughs> I am trying to stick to my schedule. 
of three videos a week Wednesday, Friday and Sunday So once you've put everything in it should be a messy mixture like this I'm now going to put this in the microwave for 10 seconds, stir it 10 seconds I'll come back when it's melted so I put this in the microwave for about a minute and a half. It's fully melted. Looks like this. If my dad is watching, look away, because my dad absolutely hates melted chocolate. So I'm just going to stir this and make sure there are no lumps of chocolate in it. And I'm just going to get a big bowl out to mix. Right, so now we want our Rice Krispies or Rice Snaps. So we need 100 grams of these. This is a massive box. <laughs> so 100 grams, which is like an average cereal bowl for me. Joking, I wish it was. So we've got 100 grams of rice snaps. And then we've got our chocolate. And we're just going to pour this mixture into this bowl, which is probably a bit big, and just pour that all into the bowl. Oh, smells gorgeous. I would just eat that bowl. And then leave your kids to eat that while you mix this. Do you know what I should have done this with? Cocoa Pops. How good would that be? Extra chocolatey. I just want to make sure everything is coached. I haven't made these in yet. Absolute. Actually, have I ever made these? Yeah, years ago. Years and years ago. So your mixture should look like this. Everyone knows what this mixture looks like, and it smells divine so i'm just gonna put that there for one second while i just put my cupcake cases into the cupcake tray well there's one reason i wouldn't get callum involved in this video as well he would eat this all before i got it in the cupcake cases so As much as I have tasted it, and it tastes divine. And if you can't go to an Easter party or anything like that, what's to stop you having a party in your own house? That's what I say. Oh, jeez. No! shot that literally just flew off the spoon and then landed in this cupcake case the one thing i wish i could do with these is to take it round to my brother and my nephews and my mum and dad but i can't i also can't because i live 250 miles away but i can't because of social distancing as well so I kind of wish i made these last week with everyone and then we have mini eggs, obviously, to go on top because they're not very easy to do without mini eggs. Any that I don't put on here, I will just be eating. So I'm going to put two on each. These are my Rice Krispie Cakes. Are they gonna... Kind of looks like a garden. So that is the end. I'm now gonna wash everything up and I'm just gonna stand here and eat what's left in this bowl. Oh my God, they're so good. So that is all finished. So they're quick and easy and they say they'll harden in about an hour in the fridge. Or you can leave them out on the side overnight to harden up. But 
I really enjoyed doing that. I love doing baking on this channel. Um, and I am going to do a bit more of it, of a few different things. But as it is coming up to Easter, it'd be nice to do some Easter things. So I have got another video planned, as I said. So if you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Comment below any other videos you want to see. And as I said, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We are still aiming for those 100 subscribers. And once we reach it, it will be a massive video of me turning Callum into a drag queen. And there may also be a little giveaway in that as well. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And I hope you have a good week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.